7 a.m. I am tired as Went to bed at like 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. Had to edit a video, Trevor's on his way, and it is too early for this shit. I'll see you guys soon. He's like, well, guys. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. We are on our way to a southern Wisconsin lake. We got Trevor with me. Yep. He's back from college. We're gonna be fishing together literally like three, four days a week, every single day. Today we are going for crappie fishing. I had my uh, slab slayer hat on right here. So southeast Wisconsin lake and we're gonna go pick up some fat heads. We just hit the gas station. It is nine o'clock in the morning right now and I went to bed at pretty much 5.30 in the morning, so I'm super tired. I think me and Trevor are gonna be able to find at least some crappie today. My only worry that it's 42 degrees and it's gonna be cloudy today, so I'm not too confident on the bite being like super good, but I do think that we're gonna be able to catch some, get enough for our crappie catch and cook, and we will go from there, but me and Trevor are gonna be fishing together literally every single day, probably four days a week, going out on Wisconsin Lakes, Illinois. How do you feel about that? I am so excited. I'm so glad to be back from Bama. I'm ready to slay with Tommy. Excited to get the gang back together, and hopefully we nail him today. All right, guys, you heard it. I'm gonna shut my mouth, we're gonna grab the bait, and then we'll see you guys at the lake. All right, guys, it's cold and shit out here. We're trying to find some spots. I don't think the crappie are gonna be too shallow. So we're gonna try like a cove area. Didn't leave the house without the Mad Hat Jerky. 14 years old, some of the best beef jerky I've ever tried. And I'm gonna have Trevor try it on camera to give his like true opinion. It's so good. So we're gonna get to the spot and we're gonna crack open the jerky. All right, Trevor, what do you think? It is phenomenal. I mean, it's nice, you know, nice thin texture, perfect seasoning, delicious. It's a nice thing to have out in the lake when you're freezing your butt off. <laughs> so, 10 out of 10. All right, well, Trevor, this is actually a good pre-fish day because, dude, we're finding beds. All right, guys, so we are getting our ass kicked out here. It is 1124. So we've been trying for crappie, trying for bass. We're mostly going for those crappie to try and fill the freezer. But I mean, we are getting our absolute ass kicked out here. So what I think and what I told Trevor this morning is I think later in the day is gonna produce more fish only because in the early spring when the sun kind of comes out and the day heats up. So right now it's probably like 40, probably 41 degrees, 42 degrees, and it's gonna get up to about 50, but not get to 50 till like three, four o'clock. So I think the more the day goes on, the better chance we have of actually finding fish. So I think the one channel that we started in is probably gonna be our best bet later on and we're gonna give it a full sense. Loosen your drag, loosen your drag a little. Keep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, first fish of the day. Trevor's hooked down to like a 15 pound carp. <laughs> no way. This is actually pretty big. All right, guys, we're fishing right under this bridge. Solid, like, eight, ten-foot hole. Trevor decided to throw the net for crappie and lands a, a huge car. <laughs> this thing's got my rod bent pretty good. Dude, what the f***? He's got this rod bent right now. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. First not, fish of the day. I <laughs> was not expecting a huge carp when fishing a net rig for crappie, but it is what it is, I'll take it. Dude, one of those bridges is stacked with carp. Turn into Justin out here. <laughs> Dude, he sees the net and he takes off. Got him? Yeah. Dude, you have them hooked good. Oh, I would say it's a 10 to 15 pounder. Dude, what the f just happened? You know, I wish it was a huge pike or huge bass or something. I guess I'll take a carp on a slow day, but it is what it is. <laughs> Can't complain about a fun fight. Dude, it ate the Ned. So real quick, before we get a picture with this, this carp literally ate the Ned rig. It, that wasn't snagged. That was a legit catch. First carp ever caught out in this lake. Before you guys go and comment, I quickly just want to say I am not a carp fisherman at all. I've never fished for these things, and I want to apologize for weighing it by that thing. I didn't know 
that you shouldn't do that. And after talking to a few people on Instagram and posting my picture, I realized that that was the wrong thing to do. So I apologize. Next time I will not do that. If I catch a carb, I will make sure that I do not use those things. I didn't know how delicate the lips were, but now I know for the future. So it will not happen again. My apologies. <laughs> nasty dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are old car. <laughs> Have you ever held like a big car? No. <laughs> They're just nasty, dude. <laughs> dude. Guys, not a bad fish though. Check that out. 9.89 pounds, so pretty much almost a 10 pounder. Exxon getting it done for us. <laughs> <gasps> dude, dude. Oh my god, guys. Look at this, look at this. All those black shapes are literally carps. You can see the tail, tail, tail. Look at that, those are all carps right there. Oh my God. Yo, 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 yo. Got him? Nobody was biting. Yeah, maybe we should let it sit and then they'll bite it. Guys, this is so nuts. It's 120. Trevor's got an online class and he may be doing it on the boat. Yo, yo, look at that goose, look at that goose. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I got one. What? Dude, it's a giant, it's a giant, it's a giant. It's a little giant. This is like a 20 pounder. <laughs> Trevor, this guy is right behind us too. Trevor, Trevor, get, get ready. <laughs> Dude, why are these carp eating egg zone lures? Oh, dude, Trevor, watch your knee. Watch your knee. You're about to sit on a chartreuse jig. Left knee, left knee. <laughs> Guarantee you, people on know this spot. Guys, this is so nuts. Straight Trevor, did you see how big that thing was? Yeah. It's a tank, dude. Just a long arm in the picture, it's like a 50 pounds. Don't make me laugh. Dude, why is that guy circling the launch? So we come to this spot to go for crappie and panfish. You find a carp and then we find a whole bungalow of carp. And I look down the I look on the side imaging and there's literally like 20 carp under that bridge. Probably more, dude. We've hooked up almost every time. And they're eating Ned rigs. Dude, like look, I literally gained like my whole leader back and then it just goes away. That thing is a pig, dude. Yeah, dude, this is big. This is really big. You need a carp? You need oh yeah. <laughs> My PB before was probably like three pounds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, Justin would cream himself. Oh my god. <laughs> 22, 23 pounds. Wow, dude, this water is colder than Antarctica. Dude, what the f is going on? That was 23.10 pounds. I hope you got 
a good view of that because we forgot to film we just took a few pictures that thing was so big i'm literally shaking look at this look at this right here those are two big carp you can literally see the tail there are so many right under this bridge right here it's literally insane we haven't had any bites all day long maybe a bite for me and a bite for trevor and trevor's on trevor's literally on right now i gotta get my line out Came to this bridge for crappie and pan fish, and we were catching 20 pound carp on med rigs. But back to this fish. So Trevor's hooked on, and he's the one who found this school of carp. This school of carp literally came from out of nowhere. We were over here for crappie and bluegill, and then maybe a bass in the net rig, but we're mostly going for these crappie. We are literally on a bunch of carp right now. They're so big. I just caught a 23.10 pounder, my personal best carp. I'm not a carp fisherman at all. I honestly don't really like them, but I know some people go crazy for them, and these, they, like this fight is unbeatable. Like I'm in utter shock. This day has been absolutely awful. I'm watching the side imaging right now, and you can literally see the carp. Like you can literally see like the body, and then this like the split tail. It's so crazy. Dude, he's taking it under the boat. For carp to be eating Ned Rigs. Oh. If you guys want to get the Ned Zones on XZoneLures.com, use my promo code Tommy to save 20% off. I'm going to try and horse them out of here a little bit. Dude, this thing still hasn't come to the surface, Tommy. I think this one's decent. Yeah, there, there goes your line. I'll get ready to net. Oh my god, dude, it's massive. It's massive. Yo, everyone at the launch is literally staring at us. Look, Trevor takes a seat. Yeah. He takes a seat because he's in it for a long run. <laughs> I know it's going to be a long run. Yeah, this carp is so big. All right, I'm going to put the camera down. <laughs> Trevor's going on like 10 minutes right now. All right, get the net ready. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys, there's the fish. 19 pounds, 19 pounds, all right, give him a release. All right, guys, we are leaving, it is 2.30. Trevor's got an online class to get to, and I don't think it'd be smart if he did it on the water, but we literally went from zero to hero. We're going for crappie. Trevor hooked into the first carp. It was a nine and three quarter pounds, and like I looked at my side imaging, and I was like, oh my God, Trevor, there's, like, there's carp everywhere. We kept casting into that bridge. I hit a 23.10 pound, and then Trevor nailed a 19 and like a quarter at the end, and that was the last fish, but, what a day, zero to hero. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, they are carp, I'm not a huge fan, but from not catching anything to freezing our ass off all morning to going to catching, literally like Trevor's fight lasted, I think like 20 to 25 minutes because he was using a medium rod. <laughs> but what a day, what a day. All right, I'm gonna, this is like one of the longest outros ever, but thank you guys so much for watching another episode of McGrath Fishing. Trevor, any last words? Fish on. <laughs> You heard it. Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and guys, we're going to two videos every single week. The season starts now.